Now, it might be a bit of a premature ejaculation, but I'm stoked by that. I even did the uh, like the ball for the, the Predator with the uh, Auckland Blues. Anyway, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Awesome from the Sinbin. Here, this is where we turn superheroes into rugby superheroes. But it's not just superheroes. As I alluded to last video, we've got uh, some art coming up. I thought what I might do for my first art piece, well, first art piece post lockdown, was do something a little different. Now, I said that this movie was coming, unbeknownst to me, because I've been stuck indoors for so long, the movie was already out. So I had to check it out, naturally, and I was a huge fan of the game. But uh, what I decided to do was something a little bit different. I thought I'd use three different mediums. So I used markers, I've used colored pencils, and I used paint. Uh, I say I used paint, I think the finished result's all right. You're gonna be able to see it yourself, but firstly, just briefly before we get into the art section of the Sinbin, I'm gonna do the longest day golf challenge again on the 21st of June. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of the details down below in the comments section. It's 72 holes, which is essentially four rounds of golf going hard at it. I mean, I did it a couple of years ago, not last year, obviously, because of circumstances beyond our control. It's a long day, but it's a fun day. Situation report. It's uh, done my right butt cheek in and my left shins and seen better days. Good news is though, we're on the sixth and I've done 60, but it's probably going to be 59 because my 60th, um, I should be right on top of it. Uh, nice night though, gorgeous day to do this, gorgeous. There he is, there he is, found him, see you in a bit. You know, I even ended up doing it by myself, all of my mates ended up piking out. You, ah. Anyway, without much further ado, let's get into this art piece because I promised my neighbour that I'd mow it on. Um, I didn't really know how I was going to go about doing this piece, so I just started sketching it out and hoping for the best. I know it doesn't look amazing at the moment. In fact, by the time the thing's done, you're probably not even going to think it's amazing then. But I think, you know what I think? I think I'm going to be quiet and I think I'm going to turn the music up. Check this out. Thank you. 
was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, he's all right. I, mean, I did make an awesome cock up. I mean, I did make an awesome. Uh, I just wasn't thinking, to be perfectly honest. But it's a case of uh, what I wanted to do was make sure that the blue on that side of the dragon was on the corresponding side with the pink. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not perfect, but I like it. See, that's what I mean by painting. Not a huge amount of painting, you know. You're not going to get any Rembrandts out of me. But I didn't like a white background because it all just Ah. Well, that's this week's episode, people. I've got a plan for my next video. I've got to meet Simon, who, uh, who's got the, the Molehill Studios. Check him out on Instagram. I'll, I'll link to him below. Uh, he's got a young fella. He's, uh, he's hard out into Ghostbusters. And that got me thinking as well, because there's a new Ghostbusters movie coming out this year. But yeah, we'll be back into the, the swing of things as far as superheroes and what have you is concerned. I just wanted my first art piece post-lockdown to be a bit different. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see. Let me know in the comments down below whether or not you're interested in the, the channel. Ah. Yeah. Subscribe, share, like. That's, that's bad weather coming, but I gotta go.